Hello everyone, I am blessed and highly favored to see another day all glory and praise and honor to my Father God who is the head of my life. Now with that being said, I am going to be talking about speaking the truth with boldness. Gotta be bold, spreading the good news, the word of God. Now let's jump in some scripture that I have here. All right, reading out of the book of Acts, chapter 28, verses 31. Proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ with all boldness and without hindrance. Let nothing stand in your way from spreading the truth word of God. It's a proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ with all boldness and without hindrance. All right, still in the book of Acts, chapter 4, verses 31. And when they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word, speak the word of God with boldness. Boldness. Mm. And don't forget to bring that fire behind that boldness. Mm. All right, this is the study section of uh, Acts uh, 28 31. Paul's missionary journeys were fraught with pearl, difficulty, pain, and dis disappointment. But God continuously sent encouragement through angels, other believers, and visions of Jesus himself at just the right times. God is always on time. Mm. It's a God continuously sent encouragement through angels, other believers, and visions of Jesus himself at just the right times in all things. God worked through Paul to reach millions millions of people not just in his century but through his writings in all the centuries since jesus ascended into heaven because of paul's writings in the new testament we have the opportunity to join with these countless witnesses to reach the world we have opportunity Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. It says the book of Acts deals with the history of the early Christian church and its expansion in every widening circles touching Jerusalem, Antioch, Ephesia, and Rome, the most influential cities in the Western world at the time. Acts also shows the mighty miracles and testimonies of the heroes and martyrs of the early church peter stephen james paul the holy spirit worked in the lives of ordinary people uh merchants travelers slaves jealous church leaders men women gentiles jews rich poor many unsung heroes of the faith continue the work through the holy spirit in succeeding generations changing the world with a changeless message a changeless message that means it never changes is it will always remain the same no matter what jesus christ is lord and savior of all who call on him today we can be the unsung heroes in the continued story of the spread of the gospel. It is the same message that we are to take to our world so that many more may hear and believe. Luke ends acts with the virtuous declaration that the pro yeah proclamation of the kingdom of God continue unhindered just as God demonstrated through paul his message of salvation through jesus is unstoppable is unstoppable 
His message of salvation through Jesus is unstoppable. Jesus has overcome the world and will one day return as king of kings. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, nothing can stop God from working in and through us. Nothing can stop God. Let his Holy Spirit, you know, spark a revival. Let you come alive. You have many folks walking around here spiritually dead and don't believe that there is a God. You know, he is, you know, the invisible God. God is a spirit for those who worship him, must worship him in spirit and in truth. That's why we must, when we when we spread the good news, which is the uh the, the gospel, you know, we must spread it with all boldness. Speak it with boldness. Amen. 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 Now this is um the study section, the book of Acts, chapter four, verse thirty one. Boldness is not reckless impulsiveness. Boldness requires courage to press on through our fears and do what we know is right. How can we be more bold like the disciples? We need to pray with others to gain boldness. You can, number one. Pray for the power of the Holy Spirit to give you courage. Number two, look for opportunities in your family and continue in in community. They said, look for opportunities in your family and community to talk about Jesus. Number three, ask God to demonstrate his supernatural power in equipping the people of your church to serve. And number four, start where you are by being bolder in small ways. Start where you are by being bolder in small ways. Amen. Amen. I reading out the book of Ephesians chapter 3 verse 12. In whom we have boldness and access with confidence through our faith in him. Glory, hallelujah, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence through our faith in him. Amen. All right, this is study section for uh, Ephesians uh, chapter 3, verse 12. We have the awesome privilege of being able to approach God with freedom and confidence. I love that. Freedom and confidence. We can approach God, you know, but in prayer. Amen. In freedom and in confidence, most of us would be apprehensive in the presence of a powerful ruler. But thanks to Christ, by faith, we have entered directly into God's presence through prayer. Amen. It's a um, mm, most of us would be apprehensive in the presence of a powerful ruler. But thanks to Christ. By faith, we can enter directly into God's presence through prayer. We know we will be welcomed with open arms because we are God's children through our union with Christ. Amen. Don't be afraid of God. Talk with him about everything he wants to hear from you. Don't be afraid of God. Talk with him about everything he wants to hear from you amen Mm. amen now back in the book of acts uh, chapter 13 verses 46 and paul and uh, barnabas uh, spoke out boldly saying it was necessary that the word of god be spoken first to you since you thirst it aside and judge yourselves unworthy of eternal life behold we are turning to the Gentiles. Mm. And Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly. It's that word. Bo- I love that word. Boldly. Bold. As a royal lion. Speak that word. 
It says, saying it was necessary that the word of God be spoken first to you since you thirst it aside and judge yourselves unworthy of eternal life. Behold, we are turning to the Gentiles. Last but not least, this is the study section of uh, Acts uh, 13, uh, verse 46. Why was it necessary for the gospel to go first to the Jews? God planned that through the Jewish people, all the world, it, world would be blessed to know about God. Paul, a Jew himself, loved his people and wanted to give them every opportunity to join him in proclaiming God's salvation. Unfortunately, many Jews did not recognize Jesus as the Messiah. And they did not understand that God was offering salvation to anyone, Jew or Gentile, who comes to him through faith in Christ. Amen. So, hey, with that being said right there, you know, um, God was offering salvation to the the lost, you know, you know, everyone, to the Jews and Gentiles. He was, he said, right here. It's a um, Paul, a Jew himself, loved his people and wanted to give them every opportunity to join him in proclaiming God's salvation. Unfortunately, many Jews did not recognize Jesus as the Messiah and they did not understand that God was offering salvation to anyone. It don't matter to anyone, you know, to the murderer, to the prostitute. To the uh, drug dealer, to the you know, um, you know anyone. It don't matter to the child molester. Anyone, you know, uh, it's a Jew or Gentile who comes to Him through faith in Jesus. Amen. God three sixty five nonstop just peace news ent ministries. God bless y'all. I love y'all and keep y'all foot on that devil's throat each and every day, no matter what. God bless y'all.